Let's get you some updates about a big story. Now, violence erupted over the cartoons depicting Prophet Muhammad in France. A teacher was beheaded because of the same. The Muslim nations came in unison to ban French products as well. But the burning question is, will they question China in a similar manner? Will Imran Khan and Erdogan question China and seek boycott of Chinese products? The question arises because a Chinese TV series telecast on Chinese state-controlled broadcaster CCTV has used a portrait depicting the Prophet Muhammad. Arslan Hidayat, a Uyghur rights activist, took to Twitter to share a video of a Chinese TV series that depicts a scene of an Arab ambassador visiting China during the rule of the Tang dynasty. Now, the Arab ambassador can be seen gifting a portrait and that portrait depicts the Prophet Muhammad. And uh, the Arab ambassador gifted the said portrait to the then Chinese emperor, according to this television series. In the video that has gone viral on the internet, there is an image of Prophet Muhammad. The series is called The Carol of Zenguan. The video shared by Hidayat has now opened up a can of worms. It has ignited a series and a serious debate on whether the depiction of Prophet Muhammad in the past was really blasphemous. With this particular Chinese TV scene becoming viral on the internet, various social media users are now pointing out that depiction of portraits of Prophet Muhammad was not forbidden in the past. Pakistan Prime Minister Imran Khan has written a letter to leaders of Muslim states to act collectively to counter the growing Islamophobia, alleged Islamophobia, in non-Muslim states, especially in Europe. Meanwhile, Erdogan, Turkish president, has also come out and blasted France and its president, Emmanuel Macron. Erdogan has also said that uh, Emmanuel Macron needs a mental check after the French president defended freedom of speech and the right of uh, satirical magazine Charlie Hebdo to publish cartoons that allegedly depicted Prophet Muhammad. Now, this is a big development happening and uh, joining us on this broadcast is... Uh, Uyghur rights activist Arslan Hidayat, who joins us from Bahrain. Now, Arslan, you brought this uh, issue to light and uh, your post has in fact gone viral on social media. Tell us about this Chinese TV series. Now, once again for our viewers, we must explain that this is a Chinese state-controlled broadcaster, CCTV, in which this uh, portrait actually depicts the portrait of Prophet Muhammad. Arslan, over to you. It's not just disrespectful to have the, and blasphemous to have a portrait of the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, but according to the speech, what's coming out of their mouths is when the, Arab, when the Arab ambassador does hand over the portrait, he describes the Prophet Muhammad as the God of the Muslims. And anyone with an ounce of knowledge about Islam knows that the, the, the Muslims' God is Allah and Muhammad is the Prophet of Allah is a prophet, he's a prophet, he's not divine in any way. That's one. This, and again, CCTV is state run. This is a clear, not just attack, but, um, you, you know, besides the Uyghur Muslims, there are uh, millions of Hui Muslims as well. So to purposely um, and very, in a disrespective way, portray this on, on for millions of people to see, um, is very disrespectful and what I've been campaigning for is if the criteria to boycott a nation's products is Islamophobia and disrespect against the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, then why are we not uh, boycotting Chinese goods? But beyond that, what's worse, and I will say this to my Muslim brothers and sisters, what's worse is China is, according to Chinese media, Chinese sources, up to 8 million in these camps, proudly boasting that they have re-educated 1.3 million uh, Uyghurs per year for the past six years, when Uyghurs only make up, according to Chinese sources, 12, 11 to 12 million, 8 million people in camps, that's almost everybody. And we don't hear anything from a country that's bordering China, Pakistan. We don't hear anything. We don't hear anything from the Turkish president. This is very hypocritical from people that uh, deem themselves to be the voices of the, uh, the oppressed and the voice of the Muslims, the leaders of the Ummah. Very, very hypocritical.
Right. Uh, you know, we will get to the politics of it in just a minute, but uh, let me once again uh, point your attention towards the plight of the Uyghur Muslims as well. Now, you are saying that this latest depiction in CCTV of uh, portrait depicting Prophet Muhammad is highly offensive to Muslims, but China has not been known for upholding rights of minorities, isn't it? Like you mentioned, millions of Uyghurs are in so-called re-education camps in Xinjiang region across China, and United Nations also accepts that more than a million Uyghurs are in such detention camps. We haven't heard any outrage about Uyghurs and their plight from the so-called friends of China as well. Exactly. Right now, what's happening to the Uyghurs is a genocide. Canada have labeled this a genocide. Um, the UN knows that uh, anywhere between three to four million Muslims, according to their sources, Uyghurs, are in these concentration camps where they are subjected to rape, torture, death, organ harvesting, uh, told to renounce their religion, told to renounce that and to say, and they are forced to say that their Allah, your Allah, is Xi Jinping, that there is no Allah. And um, uh, very disrespected. Uh, there is one story. I talked to a concentration camp detainee, and she heard of a concentration camp detainee saying that she was urinated upon, urinated upon. Uh, and while she was urinated upon, they said, don't you Muslims wash yourself w w before you pray? Go wash yourself with this urine. Now, the, the wudu and the washing before the prayer is taught by the Prophet Muhammad himself. Is this not Islamophobia? Is this not disrespect? Right, Arslan, we, I, wanted, uh, I we, wanted to ask you, how is this depiction of the Prophet in this Chinese TV program different from the Charlie Hebdo incident? And if it is similar, then can we expect similar outrage against China? Or should there be outrage against China or even France? Well, Charlie Hebdo is a is not state run as, as far as i know it's not state run it's a private publishing news magazine whatever but this is coming straight from state television as you all know if anything uh is i mean china is a place where any sort of entertainment any sort of stage theater acting drama has to go through the chinese government it means chinese officials approve this movie if, if this television series was, was not approved by Chinese politicians, Chinese officials, it wouldn't have got on air. Right. So, uh, you know, Emmanuel Macron was targeted by Erdogan. Erdogan said Emmanuel Macron needs a mental checkup. Imran Khan has shot off letter to the Muslim world, Islamic world, seeking a boycott. Uh, and, you know, saying that uh, the Western world, especially Europe, has now become a hotbed of Islamophobia. Should there be a similar boycott of China by Muslim nations now? As I mentioned, if something like when you compare Macron to Xi Jinping, Macron is nothing. So if it's that easy to boycott France, definitely calls for boycott against China. We should be technically doing more because there is no Holocaust in France. There is no uh, banning of Islam. People can still pray, have their bead, have their hijab, say Allahu Akbar, protest on the streets. Whereas you can, there is social media, you can do everything in the whole world. There are, French Muslims have so many rights. Uh, please forgive me. So we should so be are doing you alleging 10 times. That Imran Khan and uh, Erdogan are being opportunistic here. Definitely. If you want to be a popular, uh, you know, Muslim leader, you just got to say, hey, Israel, hey, France, hey, Islamophobia. I mean, it's very easy. What is France boycotting French goods? I mean, if I ask a Muslim off the top of your head right now, name me five French brands. Couldn't do it. I mean, uh, unless you are very rich, what? You're going to boycott Dior, Dior perfumes. You're going to boycott your Lacoste bags. I mean, th this is nothing. This is very hypocritical. And um, uh, people should really, really uh, think about the, the plight of the Muslims right. compared to what's happening in France. What's happening in France is very, very bad. If you're going to boycott, boycott Chinese goods. Arslan Hivayat, uh, thank you so much for joining us and uh, bringing light to this issue that has uh, certainly angered Muslims on social media.